hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do something a little different well not so much different but wanted to dive into makeup I have got this palette it is the coveted blood sugar palette and I haven't really done anything with it so I decided why not playing some makeup today so if you want to see the look that I created then keep watching okay first I'm going to prime my face with the Tatcha water cream I cannot get over how good this smells. But if you're looking for a moisturizer but don't have Tatcha water cream money, let me recommend the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gel because that one is really good also. So for primer today, we are going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And you don't really need a whole lot, honestly. For foundation today, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way. I got mine in the shade Butter Pecan. So we're gonna start off with... Okay, so originally when I bought this foundation, I was trying to buy two shades. But unfortunately, I bought it during the Sephora sale. And by the time I checked out, it was literally sold out. So I usually get used to mixing my foundations anyway because my undertones are so weird. Like, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more just to switch. That's more than a smidge. But we'll make it work. not forget to blend our edges ladies okay so this is my first time using this foundation and I must say I kind of like it I kind of feel like I probably should have did my eyes first with the look that I'm trying to do but we'll make it work I'm just going to push my brows out just so I can see Next, I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer, and this is in the shade Sand. Like I said, I was trying to get two shades, but one of them was sold out. So, let's see. I'm gonna use this Smashbox brush. Um, it doesn't really have a number, it just says blurring foundation. And I'm gonna use this to kind of blend it out at first. And then I'm gonna soften it up with a beauty blender. Don't forget to take your time either when you're blending it out because sometimes when you brush, you really miss the mark. And when I'm messing with concealers for like the first time, I usually like to take my time and make sure that I'm blending everything out. Because you don't want any harsh lines, especially in your concealer. I'm just going to make sure I get all the edges with my sponge. So 
So I've been using the Sasha Buttercup to set my under eye lately. I feel like this concealer is a tad bit too light, so I'm going to use the yellow powder to kind of balance it out a little bit. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my sponge and I'm going to tap off all the excess in the cap. That way it's not too much coming out of my face. And then I'm going to press it into the concealer. And I'm going to do this everywhere I apply concealer. Okay, I'm not really a baker unless I'm trying to go extreme glam, which is very rare. So I'm just going to go in with the Lancome Absolute Powder. This is in the shade Absolute Almond. And it has like a, it's a setting powder, but it has like a, a little bit of a sheen to it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press a little bit off in the cap because it's always like look like Casper and I'm just gonna press that everywhere else to set my entire face now that we are all nice and set I'm gonna go in with the Morphe G7 brush and I'm just gonna kind of make sure everything is like blended into one before moving on moving on to the brows my brows take so long to do I might just do it off camera but I'm gonna make an attempt and if I suck at it I'm just gonna edit it out okay okay my brows is like <sighs> it takes a lot okay so I'm gonna attempt to do my brows on camera okay so for my birthday this past May I got my eyebrows microbladed and they were by far the best money I ever spent because I suffer from lack of brows. I don't even know why I'm trying to talk while I'm doing this because it's not working. Are they sisters or are they cousins? I'm gonna use the Lancome foundation stick. Mine is in the shade 550 suede. And I'm just going to contour very lightly. Nothing too dramatic. And I'm gonna use the same Smashbox brush to kind of break it up. Now I'm going to use the Goddess Bronzer by L'Oreal. I got mine in the shade 04 Deep. I'm not sure if it's the darkest shade, but it was the darkest shade available. And I'm just going to pat that on there to kind of set my contour. And I'm going to use my G7 brush. Like I said, I don't want my face to be bold. I just want my eyes to be bold, if that makes sense. Slowly but surely. Okay, so, like I said in the beginning, I want to use the 
blood sugar palette um, I don't know I just want to play around with the reds a little bit and see what kind of look we come out I'm probably gonna go with I'm thinking cherry soda so cherry soda looks like that right there and I want I just want that one all over my lid everything else it's gonna have to come to me because I don't know. I'm going to prep my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is just a regular one to set my eyes. When it comes to blending dark colors, I usually end up looking like a raccoon at the end. So we're going to hope that that's not what we're doing today. Now, the blood sugar palette has a lot of like bold colors in it. So, in order to set my eyes, I'm going to go in with Cake Mix. This one right here. And I'm just going to brush it all over the top. This color is definitely coming out more pink than what I thought. Oh, I completely forgot to set my brows. Alright, so really quickly before I forget, I'm going to set my brows with... Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. This one is clear because I already have a colored one by Benefit that I absolutely love. So I just got this one in clear. Make sure my brows are laid because I got some curly eyebrows. Okay, back to business. So I'm just gonna put a little bit up in the crease now this color is coming out I don't know how it looks on camera but it's looking a little more pink than what I had in my I'm just gonna take my time I'm gonna take my time and I'm going to blend everything out because I always find myself rushing especially working with dark colors like with the, the reds the blacks And had I done this over, I definitely would have did my eyes first and then my face, but <laughs> now we can do about that now. If you guys haven't tried the Clinique Makeup Brush Cleanser, I recommend it. What I like to do is when I'm done using a certain color, I'll just spray like a towel or whatever and just brush my brush on here. Brush my brush. <laughs> brush my brush. Brush bristles really quickly on here and then see that I mean it's not clean like running it under water but it does take all the color out of it so if, in case I wanted to use the brush again on like another color there's no color transfer and it doesn't leave your brush wet that's a plus another color that I want to use in the crease but I'm not sure because I'm scared to death is tongue pop tongue pop I don't know if you can see it. Is there this one? Oh, no. This one right here. It's like a pinky color, but I don't know. But I'm going to go for it because why not? So I'm going to take Tongue Pop, which I feel like is going to be way more pink than I'm anticipating. And uh, whoo! Okay, it's not bad. I'm just going to put this into the crease. I want to slowly introduce the red. I don't want to just boom into the red, you know? I kind of want to ease it in there. And this pink, okay. I have to pack it on there. You ever do your makeup and have like a favorite eye? 
definitely have a favorite eye. I have a favorite eye, I have a favorite eyebrow, favorite lash, favorite side of the face. It's just a lot going on. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of ouch. And ouch is this brown color right here. Oops, yes, this one. Yes. Take a little bit of ouch, not a lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna kinda put it right here. Which is, I feel like I should've did this first. But it's okay, because I need ouch to be on the outside. Very lightly on the outside. Because I still need the pink to show through, but I need ouch to kinda blend it out. Next, what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Morphe E17 brush, and I'm gonna go in with Cavity. Cavity is a super bright pink. I'm going for it. Why not? Why not? And I'm just going to pat Cavity right on the outside. And kind of blend it in a little bit. Now, I do have hooded eyes, kind of, sort of, so it's kind of hard for me to Sometimes I feel like I have to create a crease, which is so annoying, just to make sure. Not too much, not too much. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Start on the outside, kinda of pack it in there. Like you want enough, but you don't want too much. And you just start to kinda of blend it upwards and inwards. Don't forget to take your time. Okay, now that I got the lids kinda of like how I want it, like I said, I want to go in with cherry soda and a little bit of prick on my lid. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work it, to be honest with you. I'm just going to kind of wing it. This MAC 242 brush. And I'm going to attempt to cut my crease. Just a little bit, nothing too extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this concealer. Just a little bit. Just a smidge. And I'm just going to kind of lay it down right where I want the colors to pop. We survived! Cut creases. That was stressful. Super stressful. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this Sigma E54 brush and I'm just going to spritz it just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with Prick. Ooh, that's and I'm going to apply Prick right on top of the concealer. Once I get that shade in there, I'm going to take the E18 brush and I'm going to go in with Cherry Soda, which is a much darker shade. And I'm just going to kind of blend it into the pink up top.
All right, so I'm going to take, this is a Morphe brush. Um, doesn't have a number, it came off. I'm going to go back in with cavity. It's a very loose, fluffy brush. Just a little bit of cavity. And I'm going to kind of try to put it back where I made it disappear. And I'm just going to kind of blend it out a little bit. Because I felt like I did too much with the red. Okay, now I want to go in with, what do I want to do? I definitely want to line my, my eyes really quickly. Actually, no, we're not going to line just yet. What I want to do is I want to take the same little brush. And I want to go in with, ouch, and I'm going to take ouch and line underneath in my eyes just a little bit to kind of prepare it for the color. Ouch, and I'm just gonna kind of put a little layer underneath my eyes really quickly. Okay, now I'm gonna line my eyes. Because I know it's gonna start to tear up. So I'm gonna go in with this is the Mr. Right by the bomb. I'm going to go back in with the same brush and I'm going to hit up a little bit of cherry soda. Just a little bit and I'm just going to kind of hit it right underneath my eyes. Just kind of smoke out that black a little bit. I don't want it to be like too intense. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with cavity and smoke that out a little bit more. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go in with sweetener. This one right here. And I'm going to attempt an inner corner highlight. And I don't know if this is going to be bright enough for my skin tone. Little bit of donor, donor. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with sweetener first. First application of sweetener, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of donor on top. Just for a little inner corner. Mm, not too shabby. I am gonna dust a little bit of um sweetener because it's not super bright but it's bright enough underneath my brow bone because it's not like super super bright and we're gonna take sweetener why not why not And then we're also going to take sweetener and we're going to highlight just the bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow. Okay, 
So now what I want to do is, ooh, it is super pretty. It is super pretty. I want to go in with a liner right now. And oh I want to go in. This is the Inglot Gel Liner in the shade 77. If you do not have this liner in your collection, I need you to wake up because it's good. And I'm just going to start on the inner corner. Sometimes I like to cheat and spritz my face down with a little bit of Fix Plus. This one is the coconut one. It doesn't mean I'm setting my face. I just like to have everything kind of melt together really quick before I do mascara. You know, just a little bit. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Falsies. This one has been my go-to mascara for a very long time. Probably a good few months now. I like this because I'm really afraid of lashes. Like, I don't really wear lashes that much. And with this mascara, sometimes I feel like... I can get away with not wearing lashes, you know? And the way it separates my lashes is amazing. And because I'm feeling mighty adventurous today. I'm going to go over another coat with the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Okay, last thing we need is a lip topper. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Super Stay. This one is in the shade Pioneer. But before I do that, I'm gonna quickly line my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil. Same shade as the lipstick. I just like to use a liner because I suck at lining without it. And sometimes I feel like I need to give my lip a little extra definition. <laughs> you know. Even with a liner, I still struggle. But now we are going to set it off with Urban Decay Chill. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.